Alrighty, welcome. My name is Nick Davis, and I'm a sixth grade teacher and an IB coordinator. So thank you so much for tuning into my new channel. I'm super duper excited about this, and I can't wait uh, to kind of talk about my journey into gamification and how I hope that you get something from this channel. So I called it Ready Teacher One. Uh, just because back in the day I used to love video games playing Zelda and all those great games and so I love all things education so I just combined the two passions and called it Ready Teacher One so thank you so much for tuning in to my channel as I know that your uh, the gift of time is so important and so just spending a little bit of time with me so thank you very much for that and are you ready, teacher one? So about five years ago, I started uh, reading this book called um, Drive by Daniel Pink, which was a phenomenal book. And I you know, kept reading about this idea of flow, how you can be so involved into, you know, something that you block out all time, that you can, you know, um, you're like so involved in this task that you block out everything around you and that you want to get it done and you, you know, start thinking about it all the time and you're just in this ah, idea of flow. So I got thinking like, how can I bring this to my students? Like, how can I get them in the flow? So I started doing some research and just thinking about, you know, when are kids in this flow trans, the state of flow and video games. I thought my kids, when they're, you know, playing video games, they're in this flow. They block out anything. Like I'd be like, Jack, Jack, Jack. Hey, Jack. And he won't answer me. He is so involved in this, this, this state of flow. So I started doing some research again and, you know, gamification kept popping up. So gamification is when you use game mechanics in a non-game setting. And so like game mechanics could be, you know, you set some sort of theme for your classroom. You set a narrative uh, that gives them sort of a context for, you know, the class and what they're learning about. And you bring in like leaderboards and items and a variety of other game mechanics. And we'll get into that in a later vlog. I then was put into this like trans state, the state of flow about gamification. So I couldn't like stop thinking about it. I was looking up YouTube videos, I was looking up tutorials, I was looking up, you know, research on gamification, how do you do this and you know, doing some Google Hangouts and like I could not stop thinking about gamification. It was that ah exciting for me. And so I found this one workshop. It was perfect. I remember the day I got this workshop all lined up. It's going to travel to Atlanta. It was like a pre-workshop, pre-conference workshop for uh, ASCD. And so it was put on this by this guy named Michael Matera and Rory Newcomb attended the workshop. Workshop was phenomenal. But then when I got done, I kind of was thinking like, wow, there's a lot to this and a lot I am not confident or competent in attending. And so I kind of left that kind of workshop kind of like, man, there's a lot to this. And, you know, I put it in my mind, back in my mind for like two years. It kept it back there. I was like, I was not ready. I felt kind of down about it that I'm super excited about it, but I'm not confident in my ability yet. And so just kind of left it back there, just kind of let it, you know, percolate a little bit and 
then this was the day. When I learn something new, I tend to just kind of, you know, let it sit there until I feel like I can do it. I'm afraid of failing. And so um, that's something that, you know, I'm working on just like this YouTube channel. I'm afraid of this failing. And so I hope that, you know, I just got to do it and struggle through it and, and get it done. And so, so I tend to not start something until I feel pretty confident that I can do it. Because in my head, it's still perfect. So I'm just going to go for it. So I remember like looking on Twitter, tweets, and all of a sudden, this tweet came along from Michael Matera. I hope to see you at USM Spark this summer. I was like, what? All these questions started rushing through my head. Like, why would the gamification guru want me at USM Spark? Maybe he thought I had something to offer. I don't care. I'm super excited about going. So it's just like, you know, back in high school when the popular girl says, hey, why don't you bring all your friends to uh, this party or dance? And then automatically I think, oh, maybe she likes me. Yeah, it was like that. So I talked to my wife about it. You know, like, what can we do to help or make me go to this uh, conference or what can I do to get there? So we made it work and I was super excited to attend USM Spark that summer. And this, like, I just remember this one tweet kind of changed my path forever. And later I found out that that one tweet was sent to hundreds of other people, but that's besides the point, right? So I went to that conference and it was absolutely amazing. I attended every one of Michael Matera's sessions and I even had lunch with him. But most importantly, I walked away with the competence and confidence in being able to gamify my classroom for my students. It has been an amazing journey, an amazing ride so far. Since that conference, Michael Matera has come out with a book called Explore Like a Pirate. I will link that in the description below. Highly recommend reading that book. It is jam-packed with ideas, and it's the manifesto of being able to gamify your classroom. Since that one tweet that came out, and the support of the XP Lab community. I have participated in Twitter chats. I even had the opportunity to host uh, an XP Lab chat. I have presented at ISTE and at USM Spark and started this YouTube channel. So as you can see, I owe a lot to Michael Matera. So I'll be talking more about this on this channel. So please consider subscribing as I will be talking about engaging experiences for our kids and being better together. So smash that subscribe button if you so desire. Light up that bell. Here we go. Ready, teacher one? Whoosh.